All right, topic of the day, scaling your data with data partitioning or using a SQL database. So here's a scenario. You have an app inside your business. A lot of people are using it. It's collecting a lot of data. And you, let's say you're using Smartsheet or you're using Google Sheets and you start getting errors like, hey, this app won't sync anymore. And you look in your data source and you've got, you know, 5,000 rows in your Smartsheet table. And there's a limit to 5,000 rows in a Smartsheet table. Or you cross the 2 million cell limit inside of Google Sheets. And now you've got this problem where you're trying to sync your data, but there's no more space in your storage location. So what are you going to do? AppSheet gives us two options to expand out beyond the normal limitations of our data sources. So we can connect to a you know, more premium database, which would be an SQL type of database, or we can take advantage of a feature called data partitioning. This allows us to uh, basically have AppSheet point to multiple versions of the same table and put some data, you know, maybe you have a user setting that says, hey, every form filled out for state of Texas goes into its own table. Every form filled out for state of Louisiana goes to its own table. And so you use these different filters, so to speak, to move your data into the right storage table. So you might have 10 different tables set up, all holding one part of a data set that looks exactly the same in terms of its schema and structure. Now, SQL, on the other hand, is a different type of data source altogether. So you're not expanding your normal data source, Google Sheets or Smartsheet, but rather you are tapping into this new data source that has virtually unlimited storage amounts. And uh, while this on the front end seems beneficial, uh, the downside is as you get more data in your app, it starts to slow down. So you actually do have to filter SQL tables as well, just like you would be filtering through a data partition. The benefit of going to SQL versus data partitioning is while both of these things are part of AppSheet's offering, to take advantage of either one of these options, you have to have an AppSheet business subscription. So AppSheet offers this special subscription for apps that are you know, serving business critical purposes and allows you to expand your data sources and employ uh, more specialized data sources like SQL because the idea is that if you have that much data anyway, this is obviously a business critical application. So you have to be on that business plan, but if you are, you have options SQL or partitioning. SQL is good for keeping large amounts of data in one place. So you're not splitting it up between multiple files, so you can still do statistics and analytics on one backend data source, but you still have to filter that when coming into your app. Otherwise, you're gonna have 100,000 rows and it's gonna slow your app down a lot. So you'll use security filters to strategically or uh, programmatically filter out your data. Maybe say, if your user is in Texas, only pull back data for Texas. Now, the benefit of partitioning is you still get to keep your flexible data source like Smartsheet or Google Sheets. It has its own built-in tools. So there are certain project management tools or interfaces that Google Sheets allows or Smartsheet allows that might be very important for your business. So that's when you would think, okay, instead of moving it, all this data off this platform and making it less accessible to my end users, I'm going to keep it in this platform. I'm going to scale it using partitioning, but we're going to retain the features that were important to us from that platform. So AppSheet offers you both options. In summation, whenever your data starts to exceed the limits of Google Sheets or Smart Sheets or Excel, you have two options on the business subscription to expand out that data set. All done. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.